We've all heard of the Bermuda Triangle, a mysterious region in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean in which planes, ships, and people mysteriously vanish without a trace. But have you heard of the equally terrifying Alaskan Triangle, a place that has seen the disappearance of over 20,000 people since the 1980s? Join us on this expedition as we dive into the snow-covered territories of Alaska and embark on a journey to discover just what phenomenon is behind the disappearance of so many people. Could they simply have fallen victim to Mother Nature and her unpredictable weather? Or is there something more or more mysterious at play? And just where did the rumor arise of an unidentified and malicious presence in the region originate from? Let's find out. What is the Alaskan Triangle? The state of Alaska is often considered the United States' last frontier. Being twice the size of Texas, it's full of the beauty Mother Nature has to offer, including native wildlife, enormous mountainous peaks, glaciers, and lush forests. It is a peaceful state full of homesteads and outdoor experiences. Still, one chilling enigma that shocked the people to their core is the unusual amount of disappearances that have occurred over the last seven decades. Around 20,000 people have gone missing in a region nestled between Juneau, Anchorage, and Utiagvik. Hundreds of well-coordinated and search and resume parties have extensively searched the vast area in hopes of finding the missing people, including tourists, residents, experienced hikers, and even airplane passengers. But once they go missing in this part of Alaska, they're often never seen or heard of again. While no one denies the region is one of the most unforgiving in all the state and contains rugged and dangerous landscapes that are sometimes impossible to navigate, people from the area have suggested something unusual at work here. The amount of people that have vanished without a trace has reached such an extensive number that the locals have begun calling the region the Alaskan Triangle. But just what is making people vanish in this otherwise pleasant state? And could we be dealing with some kind of foul play? Or is something much more devious at play? Missing planes gone without a trace. Our story seems to have begun in 1950 when a military plane carrying the eight crew and 36 passengers left Anchorage on January 26. Everything was going smoothly for the craft and they even checked as they flew over a small town close to Yukon to confirm they were on schedule. However, this would be the last time anyone had ever heard of the plane and its passengers. An enormous search and rescue party was sent out, yet not a single trace of the missing aircraft was discovered. All 36 passengers and the eight men crew were never seen again. To this day, it's one of the United States' largest disappearance of a military craft. Another unusual case of a missing aircraft occurred just two decades later when the U.S. House Major Leader, Hale Boggs, vanished into thin air along with his private aircraft in 1972. According to the story, Boggs' communication went silent during a storm and it was assumed the plane had crash landed. But after one of the largest search and rescue missions in history of the United States, Again, not a single fragment of the plane was found, and the investigation was ultimately called off after 30 days. There are but a few of thousands of missing persons who have gone missing in the confines of this mysterious and terrifying Alaskan Triangle. Many disappear without a single trace, and most are never seen again. But what did a team of Japanese researchers conclude, suggest, was behind the disappearances? Could it be possible that we're dealing with a problem that is not of this world? The Extraterrestrial Theory After various planes went missing in the region, many researchers were under the impression that the weather played a huge role in the disappearances. That was until 1986, when the Federal Aviation Administration received a chilling report from a Japanese cargo plane. According to the writings, Japan Airlines Flight 1628 
observed the unusual aerial crafts in the distance as they were flying through the Alaskan Triangle. Assuming there were nothing more than American Air Force jets, they paid no further attention until they began moving a peculiar fashion, unlike any craft the crew had ever seen. After this, the pilot of the Japanese craft realized the foreign craft was moving around his plane and he caught a glimpse of what happened to appear to be an unusual in shape, looking more like something from a science fiction movie than a regular plane. They moved unlike anything the Japanese crew had ever seen and shadowed Flight 1628's every move while emitting an intense, blinding light. Eventually, the three craft departed and this was the last the Japanese crew saw of them. The statements made were verified by everyone on board and even by a civilian and military radar. The FAA report went on to gain national attention around the world with many suggesting this was clear evidence of unidentified flying objects, possibly not of this world. Could these crafts have played a role in the disappearance of other planes in the Alaskan Triangle? Could their blinding lights have forced pilots to lose control of their craft? And just what exactly did the mysterious group want? The native Tlingit and Simshin peoples have their own explanation of both the missing peoples in and around their regions. But according to their story, the threat did not come from the sky. Instead, it lived among the forest and glaciers. In the native legends, they make reference to the Kushtika, a shape-shifting cryptoid that stalks Alaska's isolated regions looking for human prey. While many have had comparisons to the famous Bigfoot, it seems that the Kushtika was a far more malicious and downright evil figure. According to folklore, they would disguise himself as a friend or a relative and lure the victim deep into the wilderness before attacking them. Sometimes they would tear the unlikely victim apart, but in some cases, they would turn them into another Kushtika. Quite frankly, we don't know what's worse. While both of these previous theories are equally terrifying and have some level of evidence to back them up, there is one last theory that could explain the thousands of missing people in the region. According to some researchers who visited the region, they claim it possesses an extremely powerful energy vortex. While a clockwise vortex would produce positive effects on humanity, when it spins in an anti-clockwise fashion, it brings with it negative energy. The latter is precisely what people have witnessed in and around the Alaskan Triangle. Unusual hallucinations, sightings, and disappearances have led many to speculate that such a force exists here. According to researchers, such areas around the world are supercharged with a form of geoelectromagnetic energy, and the sheer abundance of this has led to an unusual array of phenomenon. Researchers working in quantum mechanics have theorized that such places full of dense energy may rip open holes in the space-time continuum. While this may sound unusual or downright terrifying, we've long known about the possibility of wormholes, thanks to the work of scientists such as Albert Einstein. But could the Alaskan Triangle really be a gateway to a dark dimension, a place from where the Kushtika originates? Or is it possible the electromagnetic energy here is manipulated by an advanced group of being and utilized as a wormhole? This could explain the sighting of various unidentified crafts in the region, such as the mentioned by the Japanese craft. So could unfortunate human souls have been in the wrong place at the wrong time and been sucked through such an energetic passage? When such unusual disappearances occur, more often than in other places worldwide, an alternative answer is sometimes needed as nothing else makes sense. What do you think about the Alaskan Triangle? Are the missing people simply unfortunate souls who go vanishing due to unforeseen weather? Or could we be looking at some kind of phenomenon which the United States is not yet ready to admit exists? Could this part of North America really be some kind of energetic portal that transports one to another dimension? Let us know all your opinions in the comments section below. If you'd like to see more videos on this mysterious parts of our history, they have left humanity questioning just what really lurks in the shadows. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for weekly videos. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.